You can't talk about the mass incarceration story without talking about the absence of strong public defender offices. Public defense is in constitutional crisis. Public defenders represent people in criminal cases who cannot afford an attorney. In the United States, everyone has the right to a lawyer, even if they can't afford one, in criminal matters when you're facing jail time. have a criminal court system that provides two different systems of justice based on individuals who can afford to hire an attorney and individuals who have public defenders. Public defenders are critical to challenging racist, cruel, and unjust laws and practices. Defenders represent the most marginalized people in our society and are often the only actors in a position to hold police and prosecutors accountable and prevent the state from steamrolling people who've been caught up in the criminal legal system. Meaningful access to counsel for all right now is underfunded. In order for public defenders to play this role of checks and balance for police officers, they need to have the resources to do so because it's important for them to be able to hire investigators to be able to fully defend cases that are coming before the court. The lack of resources and funding in jurisdictions that have public defender offices prevent public defenders from providing the kind of access to justice to each client that they're capable of providing. When we look at the statistics in places like New Orleans, Louisiana, where it leads the nation in wrongful convictions, one can only wonder how are we allowing individuals to be incarcerated for crimes they did not commit. The answer is simple. The attorneys who are handling the cases oftentimes are overworked and underfunded. When we say defund the police, what we mean is do not shut down the police stations. Do not fire the police. What we're saying is some of their resources need to be taken and put it in organizations that can help to deter clients from coming into the court system. There's an election coming up where there are many judges on that ballot. And I would urge each and every one of you to take the time to look up this judge, read the bar review results about this judge before you just go in and randomly select judges. I know it's a hard task, but that's part of our responsibility is knowing who to put on these benches. Find out their position on public defense, whether they care about an equitable system that produces just outcomes, whether they want to continue with the status quo that undermines justice for all, not just people that public defenders represent, but survivors of crime as well.